Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to be going over part three of our side scroller game that we're making using the gameplay ability system. So let's just go ahead and jump right on it. So now I'm simply just going to duplicate this WBP health bar and just make one for mana. I'll just call this WBP mana bar and then I'll duplicate it again and call this WBP stamina bar. And I'll double click my mana bar and I'm just going to change the names from health progress bar to mana and then health text to mana text like so. And then I also want to change the colors of this progress bar. So I'm going to change it to a dark blue, something like this. And then for the fill color and opacity, I'll change it to a lighter blue like so. And then for the text, I can leave that the same. And I'm going to just rename this event by highlighting over it and hitting F2. And I'll call this update mana bar. And I'll hit compile and save. And now I'm going to go back to this folder and then change the colors and the names on the WBP stamina bar. So with the stamina bar, I'm going to select the progress bar and call this stamina progress bar. And then for the text, I'm going to call this stamina text. And then with the progress bar selected, I'll change the tint uh, for this. I'll do something like a dark green. And then for the fill color and opacity, I'll do a light green like so. And then I'll just hit compile, go to the graph, change this from update health bar to update stamina bar and I'll hit compile and then I will go back to my WBP HUD and then I'm just going to add my WBP mana bar in my canvas panel and my stamina bar and I'll go ahead and just drag my mana bar right so so now I'll hit play and you're gonna see nothing actually pops up and that's because we're not adding this WBP HUD to the viewport because we only selected WBP health bar so we're gonna go back to our player controller class and change this to actually add the entire WBP HUD. So after I change this to WBP HUD, I am just going to erase this setter and then just right click promotes to a new variable and I'll just call this HUD widget ref and I already have this actually. So I can drag this out and call the setter and plug these in like so connect to add to viewport and that will be able to add it to my, uh, my viewport. And for this part for the target, I am going to actually just call this HUD widget ref. And then from here, I'm actually going to get the get WBP health bar. And now this will actually connect to my target. So now when I actually hit play, it's going to show my health to be 100 out of 100. And my mana and stamina should be set empty. Just displaying text block because we haven't updated that just yet. So this looks pretty perfect to me. And now let's configure it so we can see our mana and stamina. So I'll go over to my BP third person character. And kind of like how we have this update health, we are actually going to tag this or connect this to a update mana using that BPI HUD interface we created. And then I can simply just call these get float attributes and then look for my mana and max mana. And then again, I will just look for stamina and max stamina. And then from here, I'll also call the update stamina message like so, and then connect the appropriate pins. So max mana will go here. And I also want to connect ability system component to all of these get float attributes. And don't forget to connect your controller to all of them as well. So I compile and save and kind of like down here, how we create event on health changed. We also have one for mana and stamina. So I can simply just actually, I can actually just copy these four that we created and just paste it over here and really just copy the same method that we use for our event health. So I'm going to highlight over this and actually call this update health on change like so. And then I'll do the same for these as well. So this will, these updates will only be called every time the value of this change, thanks to our C++ code that we, that we previously set. So I'll connect ability system component to both of these and on event health change. I'm going to simply just drag this out and call this update mana from the BPI HUD interface and then connect our mana to current mana and max mana to max mana like so. And then for the target, I'm just gonna grab this get controller and then I'll highlight over all of this and I'll call this update mana on change. And I'll just try to fit this size to be the same as it is up here. So that looks good. And then we wanna do the same thing with our stamina. So I'll grab the ability system component, plug it into stamina and max stamina and then for the event on stamina change that we created, I'll just plug this into the update stamina from the BPI HUD interface. 
and then connect the RPG attribute set stamina to current stamina, and then RPG attribute set max stamina to max stamina, like so. And then the target again will be get to controller. So I'll highlight over all of these, comment this, and I'll call this update stamina on change, and I'll just resize this, and then I'll hit compile and save. And now this should update all my values on start, but I also need to talk to my player controller that we created in order to update these as well. So now I'll call this update mana using the HUD interface and update stamina. And I can simply just get this HUD widget reference. And then instead of out getting the WBP health bar, I can simply get the WBP mana bar like so. And then the same thing down here for the stamina bar. So I'll call WBP and I can copy these two pins for both of these, the division, which is going to divide current and max for each stamina and mana. And then I'll simply just change health to mana for this one and then health to stamina for the bottom one. And then current mana will go to zero, max mana will go to one, current stamina will go to zero, max stamina will go to one. And then from this HUD widget reference, I'm going to just call that update mana bar like so. And then I'll connect the result of the format text into the health text and then the result of the division into the health percent and connect the execution pins. And then same thing for stamina. I'm going to look for that update stamina function or update stamina bar from our WP stamina. We simply just plug this in and plug in the division to the health percent and the format text the result like so. And this looks pretty good. So now that when we hit play, we'll see it say health 100 out of 100, mana 100 out of 100, and stamina 100 out of 100, exactly how we want it. And it is set up correctly because that's exactly how we initialized it in our C++. As you can see here, it says health 100F, max health 100, mana is all 100, stamina is also all 100. So we're seeing it like that. And in the next video, we'll actually learn how to level up and connect our stats appropriately and update them whenever we do level up. And that covers part three of our side scroller and gas tutorial. Thanks for watching, Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.